let's talk about the elephant in the room. Tressa is gone. Cue the tears, cue the tears, cue the tears. Hey y'all, it's your girl Cherry Coco coming back at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this is going to be another review, episode five of Ready to Love, one of my favorite shows. And this week, a lot happened this week, but there's not a whole lot to talk about this week because this week was really centered around Frick and Frack. And let me tell y'all something. I didn't realize before, but with this duo, these two are annoying. Well, let me stop. Stacy was annoying. I mean, it was the clinginess to her friend for me. And I think, and I could be wrong, but in my opinion, it was like a defense mechanism. Um, it was like a wall that she purposely put up. So when they voted her off as you know, not ready to love, it kind of made sense. It's like you put her as your wall and couldn't nobody get to you and or even get to her because constantly out her mouth was Chris, 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 Chris Anthem, Chris Anthem, Chris Anthem, Chris Anthem, Chris Anthem. It's like, are you here to find somebody or are you here to find Chris Anthem somebody? The show was is ready to love. I mean, you didn't know this girl before y'all on the show. Not that it's bad to make friends and have friends, but that wasn't. That's not the purpose of you being there. So I kind of. I mean, even though she was nerve wracking, I felt bad in that aspect. I was like, that seems like a wall that she that she built up. I I truly believe that. And then for Tressa to leave. I like Tressa, not because she was all beautiful and thick or whatever, but she was funny and she was, she had a real personality and was down to earth. And I like that. And you don't find that in a lot of people. That is a rare find. And for the man to be so superficial and not really dig into that, it was kind of disappointing. Not shocking, but disappointing. It really, really was. Who don't want the homegirl with a bad body as they grow? I mean, you just, it's like a total package almost. And the fact that, to me, I think that was grossly ignored. I don't know. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way that Dietrich handled their date. Uh, but I ain't on the show. These are just my humble observations. I don't know. But on a good note, which was not disappointing was Liz and time out for a minute on my last video I kept calling her Liv because I'm thinking her name is Olivia but it's Elizabeth and her nickname on the show is Liz so oh, excuse me for that but back to the non-disappointment of Liz 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 showed up at that masquerade ball oh my goodness she looked absolutely gorgeous and amazing you can tell she didn't come to play she did not come to play and you can and you saw it you really really did she yeah she stood out i mean what i did like about the masquerade ball is how alexis slithered her way all over i mean I say slither and I think I just need to be honest with myself and say that Alexis is one of my least favorites because I don't have a lot of good things to say about her. Not that I think that she's just evil person, but no, I'm just going to be honest with myself. She is probably one of my least favorites. Um, and I know the name of the game is get your man or whatever, but I don't know. There's something about her just seemed a little little sneaky to me it does it really does and, and I can't quite pick up on it just yet but I got the feeling but but I get the feeling that it's going to eventually come out I don't know if it's going to be messy or or what I, I really I don't know we we shall see Stacy going home I could see that Tressa was not happy about that 
I really do hope that both these ladies find somebody to love um, and find their soulmate. Because like I said before, Stacy, I think it was a wall that she had built up. Tressa, I think, you know, even men in the Sage group still tend to be a tad bit superficial. And that's just very, very, very unfortunate. The men are going home next week. I do not have any predictions. I really won't. I might want to say Dietrich. But Ronald, now that he's made this connection with, who was it, Chrysanthemum? I don't, in Alexis. Um, I think he'll stick around, even though he was somebody that I thought was going to go home rather early. But surprise, surprise, he's still around. So mm, that's a good thing. If he matches with somebody, he makes them happy. and they make him happy, applause all the way around. So I think that's good. This season, I would really like to see couples who matched at the end stay together even after <laughs> the show ends you know I really want to see that I felt like after season one that was it you know season two in Atlanta no last season in Houston no this season in Houston yes let's get some couples together let's bring them together let's keep them together let's make some real love connections let's see some marriages happening some children being produced something you know, make this show, I mean, I guess it's worth it because you meet and you learn about yourself and you grow, but that's, it's ready to love. It's love. Like, really love. Show some love. Be in love. Be loved. Love someone. So, that's what I'm hoping for. But, yep, no predictions for next week, except for Dietrich. And, again, I believe that Chris is going to last till the end. And Alexis... A little sneaky but I could be wrong but anyway like comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week bye